What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I figured I'd do a different video for today. Seeing as though we are on the first week of January. Sometimes when you're going through life's challenges, you think that your situation is unique to you. Well, I have some news for you. Your situation and what you're going through right now is not unique to you, my friend. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you a little story about my life. Back in 2015, I remember this conversation very clearly. I was having a conversation with one of my friends. I was broke, going to a job that I hated, and I had very little hopes of the future. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to escape the rat race, but I didn't know how. And the only thing I had was the motivation because this was around the same time that, if you remember, Ty Lopez came out. If you recall, Ty Lopez is. He used to do these YouTube ads all the time that were going viral all over YouTube. And he would tell people about how to do digital marketing and how to do this. And I was fascinated by what he was talking about. So I remember having this conversation with my friend in his car. I was just telling him, man, one day, I just want to be able to escape this life, go somewhere peaceful and quiet, and just work on what I love every single day. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is this. A lot of you are going through the same situation that I went through in 2015. You have an idea of where you want to get to, but you don't know if what you're currently doing right now is gonna get you to the, end, to the end goal. You don't know. Nobody ever knows. Nobody can predict the future. But I wanna tell you one thing today that a lot of people are not gonna tell you, my friends. Not even your friends, not even the people that you love are gonna tell you this. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot take your foot off the gas. You gotta go so hard that people think you're crazy. You gotta keep going and trust your process because I promise you, you're on the right track. And nobody's gonna tell you this. Do you know when they're not gonna tell you this? Because they wanna see you fail. Because remember something, there's a billion dollar industry dedicated to betting against your failures. The gym industry, Planet Fitness, Lifetime Fitness, these gyms are betting on people like you because they understand our psychology. They're betting on me and you, because they understand how we think. They understand that we're in the first week of January right now. Today's January 8th. Typically, people will sign up for a gym membership on the 2nd of January, and then they show off for one week, and then after that first week, they fall off. And they're willing to bet that you continue to pay that membership for at least three to six months. So they're gonna profit off of you for the next three to six months while you're sitting your ass at home, not working out, getting fat. Everybody knows this. Not just the gym industry, but a lot of other industries are betting on that. The junk food industry is betting on the fact that you have a sugar craving and you can't control your appetite. You gotta keep eating, you gotta keep snacking. They're betting on you to fail. If Everybody else is betting on you to fail. It means that the people that are closest to you are also betting on you to fail. It means that the default is the negative, as always. If the default is the negative, it means that doing the complete opposite of that default is going to be completely hard and completely difficult. It's so difficult that majority of the people are not able to do it. And it's very uncomfortable. And who wants to go through discomfort? Not me. The difference between those that make it to the finish line and you that is not at the finish line right now is that they're willing to take the pain. They're willing to take the pain and they're willing to do whatever it takes. The pain of knowing that if I fail, my friends are gonna laugh at me. I'm gonna show up to a family gathering 
and somebody's going to make some funny comment about, how's that little business you've been thinking about starting? To make you feel some type of way. To make you doubt yourself. It's very uncomfortable. But there's a solution to this problem. I just want to share a little bit of wisdom because this is something that worked for me and I think this is something that will work for you. Motivation is not going to save you. That's the truth. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how many motivational videos you watch. They're helpful to some extent. In fact, I could name a couple. My favorite one to listen to is Jim Rohn. Back in 2015, 2016, I used to listen to his videos constantly for motivation, but I never did anything with that motivation. So what I learned was what took me from just the intention to the action was discipline. Discipline means doing things that you don't want to do when you don't feel like doing it. When you don't feel like getting up to go to work, you just do it. That's discipline. When you don't feel like working out, you just do it. Doesn't matter how you feel. Because guess what? The other sad reality I learned as a man is that nobody cares about your feelings. You gotta go out and get it. Sometimes you just have to say, I'm just gonna do it. The problem with a lot of us, this used to happen to me, and I confess, is that we wanna wait for everything to be perfect. And that's where we go wrong. That's where we fall off. We wanna wait for that opportunity to be just perfect, to be just right. There's no such thing. An OG once told me, my dad, he once told me, you can never be ready to have a kid. When I was younger, I never understood what that meant until I had a kid, my first kid. Then I realized, man, that's some true game right there. So when I first had my first kid, I was broke. I wasn't ready for a kid. I panicked. I didn't know where the money was going to come from. But what helped me through the challenges of life was just doing the things that needed to be done no matter how I felt about it discipline. That's the key. All right. I hope you got some value from this video and I encourage you to not take your foot off the gas. All gas, no brakes for 2024. If you're ready to start your home care business right now and just do have any questions about how to get started, maybe you need that one piece of advice that will help you to take you from point A to point B. Reach out to me. I'll, I'm going to put a link to my calendar in the description box of this video, schedule some time. If you schedule some time, I will give you a discount on my marketing course on how to market your home care agency and get those clients coming in. You need those clients, right? Your private paying clients. I can help you with that. All right? I'll see you in the next video.